Hi, I am Neil and we will explore print media. In this video, we will delve into the relevance of print media, a quick history of the evolution of printing, and different printing methods. Our objectives include identifying the essential steps in printing, describing various printing techniques, and briefly highlighting the latest innovations in the field. As we explore different methods of printing, it would be also helpful for us to immerse ourselves by observing different printing methods. With that, you can scan the QR codes while I explain the methods later so you can get resources for your self-immersion. Let us first define printing. Printing is the process of reproducing an image from a source onto a surface. The surface can be paper, wood, stone, or other material where you can put an image, while an image can be a text, photo, or other visual elements. Printing has a rich history. It traces back to cave paintings and wood or stone carvings. The earliest printing methods emerged in China during the first century. They carved symbols on wooden blocks, applied ink, and then transferred the image onto a surface. Later on, during the 8th century, the Chinese people invented paper, and in the 11th century, they developed movable type printing. In 1450, Johannes Gutenberg's invention of the first printing press using movable metal types revolutionized communication, enabling mass production of information. The mass production of information eventually allowed ideas and information to spread faster and become more accessible to the masses. Communication did not just end with Gutenberg's printing press as more technologies in communication were developed. Printing and publishing have become more efficient and digital. And despite the emergence of different technologies such as the internet, print media is still essential in our everyday lives and allows us to innovate more technologies based on our needs. Despite the evolution of various communication technologies, print media continues to be an essential part of our lives. It coexists with digital technologies, serving diverse purposes and allowing for ongoing innovations based on our evolving needs. Print media remains a powerful tool for information dissemination, especially in developing countries and remote areas. Despite the advent of new communication technologies, it plays a significant role in reaching diverse audiences. From this short history discussion, we learned that our need to socialize, connect, and help communities drive us to innovate new technologies, leading to more realization of our needs, and so on and so forth. Communication and technology evolve because we are driven by our needs. We also use communication to assist communities and individuals in meeting their needs and improving their well-being. Now let's look at the basic modern printing methods. Modern printing is distinguishable from ancient methods by its use of movable metal type and printing presses that mass produce images. We have four methods to discuss for this lesson. Relief printing or printing what is left of the original surface, intaglio or printing what is below the surface, planography or printing what is drawn on the surface, and stencil printing or printing through open areas in screen. Let's explore each of those methods. We go first with letterpress printing. In letterpress or relief printing, the image is raised in relief from the non-printing surface. It works like a rubber stamp, where ink is applied to the erased image and then transferred to a surface. Although relief printing is one of the oldest printing methods still in use today, it is mainly employed by small community newspapers due to practicality issues for large printing jobs. The next one is gravure printing. Gravure printing, also known as intaglio, involves engraving the image into a plate surface. The ink is applied to the plate and then wiped, leaving ink only in the cutout areas. Gravure is renowned for high-quality picture reproduction, but at the same time, it is labor-intensive. 
The third one is offset lithography or planography. Offset lithography is commonly used in commercial printing. It operates on the principle that grease repels water. Greasy ink is used to transfer the image to a plate and water is used to wash down the non-greasy areas, leaving the greasy image. The image is then transferred to paper to a rubber blanket, reducing wear and tear on the plate. And last is the silk screen printing, also known as serigraphy. It transfers an image using stenciling through a silk screen. The non-image area is blocked off and ink is forced through a screen using a squeegee. This method is commonly used for printing on cloth, such as cotton t-shirts. We also like to add color printing, which is commonly found on computer or digital printing. Color printing differs from black and white printing because the colors are broken down into four basic colors, red, blue, yellow, and black. And each color is applied separately to create a full spectrum of colors, making color printing more expensive than black and white printing. As we look to the future, printing technology continues to evolve. Advancements such as 3D printing and eco-friendly printing methods are shaping the industry and addressing emerging needs. In conclusion, the printing process has a rich history and remains a vital tool for information dissemination, especially in rural areas. We have explored various modern printing methods and discussed the ongoing evolution of printing technology. Print media coexist with digital innovations, adapting to the changing needs of our society.